Satu to lang po. There would be blessings kung tayo po isusunod sa batas ng Diyos. Blessings na hindi, na, na hindi natin mabibilang. Hindi natin masusuka. There would be blessings if the people obey. And obedience is the basic and ever repeated demand of the Lord. However, this demand is addressed to all people. Hindi lang para sa akin, hindi lang Brother Willie, hindi lang para kay Brother Kiko, kay Brother Brian, hindi para sa lahat. And the Lord Institute, it's one, it's one, it's one, it's one. Ang po ang gusto ng Diyos. It's one, dapat pag-abot sa iba. It's one, pag naabot na natin sila, true and true. Rich one, teach rich one, teach one. And everyone is the village, the city people, as well as the small town people and the rural population. Antano, how do you respond to Christ covenant today? Do you hear it? Of course, sa Mark 4.24, sabi, Consider carefully what you hear. Pangalawang tanong, how do you hear it? Of course, sa Lucas 8.18, sabi, consider carefully how you listen. Because as we listen, applying this word, help us grow spiritually. And this is a principle of growth in physical, mental, and spiritual life. Now, when it is spoken, I told you yun, sa salita, kaminan si Brother Will, do you listen? Nakikinig pa kayo? Of course naman. Pero kung sometimes, if we listen, at tumama yung ang misay sa atin, minsan na-open po tayo. Amin din natin, ito yun. Too often, we justify our inconsistencies because listening to God may require us to change the way we live. Tanong ulit, do you obey? Kapag sumunod. Sumunod, pero half. Kalahati lang sumunod. Do you speak and share it? Naibahagi mo ba ang katuhan? Kayo na po ang magpagsagot niya. Even to this day, God's people had followed a tragic pattern. So that's why God repeatedly reached out with appeals and warnings, always alaging, nag-offers yun ang pag-asa, always offering hope to, the, to us. And as we know, God has always supplied man with directions. However, <coughs> People generally rejected his goodness, which have offered blessings, and continually ignore his warnings. Ang, ang resorta. Resort. Ano? Rejection. Rejection, kahiyan, kasiraan. What a hopeless picture. The sun is aster. Malaking sako na malaking kapamakan. And what is your response when, you're, when you are rejected? Nangyari nga sa akin to. Just like a cleansed face being we in my face. Hindi ka parang ginanong ka sa mata. Pag ikaw ay naayawan. And because God has allowed man to have your Because God allow us to have our will, there has been destruction. Ito yun. Pag sinunod natin natin sa sarili, nawalan, ang tulot, ang Diyos, mayroon ka pa makana. There would be failure. May kapiguan sa buhay po natin. And there, there would be abuse. May pang-abos. Mayroon panggagamit, misused misyos sa pangalan ng Panginoon. 
ginagamit nila ibang pangalan upang manalangin. Saan mo ba nakita yung Lorenzo Ruiz sa Biblia? Di ba wala? They're misusing mga kapatid. As I said, because God, man, God allows man to have free will. There has been destruction, failure, abuse, misuse. Mayroon pa rin pagbababahagi. Sana huwag naman sana mangyari ito sa iglesia. Hindi lang yun, kundi sa labas, dito sa ating susidad, pag-aalsa, may mga himagsikan. Makarang, makarang araw, ikita ko ang daming grupo. Nag-rally dahil nagsisimpatya ko nila sila kay Corona. Parang pa nga nila gawin daw sen, santo, o tatawa. Year after year, God had gone to the rains. The great, the, the way, the good way, the annual harvest for His people. Yet, the gratitude that should have torn their hearts to God was absent. Hindi katanggap-tanggap dahil sila mismo. Yung baga sa school, mentally present, this act. Physically present, mentally absent. Ganun ang mga tao ngayon. And their near death was already beginning to cost them for God's blessings and benefits were being withheld. God's justice demanded response because people was enacting every form of disobedience. Ano ba yun? Yung mga pagsaway. Pagsaway. Una-una, social disobedience. Men were dropping to enslave them. Nililang nila ang tao para alipin nila. Pangalawa, economic sabotage, economic disobedience. Men were deceiving to gain profit for themselves. Hindi ko napanggitin. Alam nyo na ang nangyayari sa gobyerno natin yun. Civil disobedience. Men were refusing to execute, execute judgment Nangyari na rito. Ecclesiastical disobedience. Religious leaders were rejecting God. Sila mismo nagsasabi, religyoso, devoted, pero sila ay umaayaw sa utos ng Diyos. It's, it's no wonder what God said. An appealing and honorable thing has happened in the land. Walang tigil po ang mga disaster na gratis sa atin. Hindi lang dito sa bansang Pilipinas, kundi sa ibang bansa. Mga karahan, ang Brazil, ilang palapak yung ilang building, yung building na naluhum. Karahan linggo, yung Negros Oriental. Just this year lang, ha? So yun. It's no wonder that God said an appealing and horrible thing is happening in the land. And these thoughts and rebellion include with a stubborn question that can benefit anyone who has strayed from God. Tanong natin, what will you do at the end of it? Ano bang gagawin natin sa pagluluhan? Well, we must realize. Tantoin po natin, tantoin natin that we will see the end. Tantuin natin, liripin po natin that we will be judged. Unawain natin at alamin natin that we will receive our sentence for eternity. Now mga kapatid, consider this facts today. Now, otherwise, sabi ni Jeremiah, Sa 23, verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 14.
Je to po. No, no, 40 pala, hindi 14. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 40. At ako'y magpaparating na walang hanggang kakotsyan sa inyo. At walang hanggang kahiyan na hindi mo malimutan. Yun po. Tandaan po natin yan. Manatili tayong mag-reject ng nagawin natin na magdagdag tayo, na ukos ng Diyos, na hindi mo kailangan kung mag-subtract tayo ng salita ng Diyos. Anong mangyari? Diba sa Revelations? Alam po natin na yun. Disobedience makes our lives more difficult. Disobedience occurs when people choose not to follow God's plan of living. Now, in order to live, in order to subsist, tayo po ay unang-una, we need to submit to God. SUV. SUV. And pagkatapos, we need to be sincere. And what we say and do is I. Pagkatapos po, we need to stand for truth and righteousness. Sa so, makotwit, in order to, to live, we need to work for it in order to success in this life. Unang una, isubmitin muna natin ating sarili sa Panginoon. Tapos, maging sinsero po tayo sa ating pamamuhay, sa ating gawain, sa ating pakipag, kapwa ta. Ang pangatlo, stand for righteousness and truth. Subsist. So, pamagitan sa salita ito, we must keep alive, realizing, realizing what is going on. Mga kapatid, God has called us to keep His commands while reminding us that His laws are not hiding from us or beyond our reach. Have you ever complained that obedience is too difficult? <coughs> Na-experience nyo ba ang mga pagsunod sa pangasa ng utos ng Diyos na napakahirap? Kung mayroon man, these are unacceptable excuses because God's laws are written in the Bible and are clearly evident in the world around us. Our being God is reasonable, is sensible, and beneficial. Kaya nga lang, the most difficult part of being God, God's laws, is deciding to start now. Yun po. Ang kasintanong kanina, have you ever complained that obedience is too difficult? The most difficult part of being God's laws is simply deciding to start now. Remember, each person, each and every one of us must respond afresh to God's call for obedience. For God says to obey is better than sacrifice. God wanted His people to obey. God wanted His people to serve Him and to follow Him with a whole heart rather than to maintain a superficial commitment based on traditions. Last word. A life of obedience and complete trust is pleasing to God. Thank you. Maraming salamat sa mga pagkikinig at sorry sa pagkikinig. May nangyari kasing 
banggaan doon ng motorsiklo na suksok doon sa ilamin ng truck. So, one hour ako nandun sa bago mag tulay. But this is not an excuse for me. Maraming salamat.